and he tells us like, hey, her discs are fractured. And I remember thinking, okay, so my brother lived a perfect life and he's a perfect child, got his degrees, got jobs, got promotions. My, both of my brothers, my dad worked two shifts. He worked a night shift and he worked a day shift and he actually worked as a security guard. He gave up the opportunity that he had in our country, Pakistan. And I saw them and when it came to actually helping out my mom, one day at the hospital was $30,000. And we couldn't afford that in our family. That was like, we literally could not afford that. And so I, I, you know, I saw her in pain for the next seven, 10 years. And you know, imagine somebody you love so fucking much, like you care about her, you care about them so much, right? She's your mom. <laughs> and I saw her go through this pain and I watched her suffer every single day, literally because we actually couldn't afford to help her. It's the feeling of like the helplessness is just unreal. I've never felt this helpless in my whole life. And so I thought, I wanna grow up to not be in that position where I'm that restricted and I can't even, like what's the point of earning income, earning, making money, having a, some financial freedom, having a secure job when you can't even support the people you love and you care about? So watching that when I was growing up, I was in high school and I was like, you know, I know school is good, but I got to kind of find my own way. And so when I went to Oakton Community College and I was in college, I was always trying to find something different. And that's how I came across, you know, programming. And I was like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> Let's me take my ideas and put it out in the world. Now for me in the start, it wasn't about even making any money. It wasn't about trying to become successful, becoming a freelancer, earning an income from it. It was literally something that let me express my thoughts and my ideas. And it was one of the things that I could call my own. And it gave me freedom from that life of just watching my mom suffer. And it was a creative outlet for what was going on inside of me. It even helped me deal, deal with my anger and my frustration. And then later on, I realized you could actually earn an income from it. You can make a living from it. And not only that, but I found out I could earn such a good living from it that I could actually support my mom and actually help her get her surgery. And I actually did. And that was the day that changed everything for me. And now that I have gone this and I found, you know, I just found my own way. Okay, it's not the greatest way, it's not the best way. Everybody has their own way. Everybody has their own way. This was just my way. And that's just the way that I wanna share with you if you're interested in watching this. I put together a completely free training. Uh, if you come to this webinar, I want you to walk away with every single tool that will help you not only learn programming, but tell you how, what's the path for you to learn programming. What's the path for you to go from being a complete beginner to then becoming a freelancer or even getting a full-time job. What are those freaking steps that are in the middle that nobody shares with us, right? What are the steps in the middle? How come there is a job that says, um, that's an entry-level job and it says you need three years of experience? Like, are you kidding me? How do you get three years of experience for an entry-level job? By definition, it should be the first job you get into. So how do you baby step your way all the way there? That's my path, that's what I'm passionate about, that's what I wanna share with everybody in the world, and that's what I wanna show you, okay? So if you're interested and you wanna learn this stuff, please come to this webinar. It's an amazing training that I've put together. I wanna not only show you your Python you know, earning potential, how you can get your first client, I wanna give you the roadmap to start on your journey to becoming a freelancer, to becoming a developer, and use this as a resource to get started and have that right path because I didn't have that right path and it took me a long time to discover it. And I got really lucky. I had mentors along the way. I had my older brothers who would guide me. I had other people that I ended up finding, you know? And I worked really hard. I was doing 18 to 20 hours a day, like coding and learning. And so I wanna kinda help you. You know, you can't skip all the hard work. It's hard, it's difficult. You can't skip all of that. But I can give you a roadmap that if you follow it, 
you will get there. You will get to becoming a freelancer or a developer, okay? So I've put that together for you. If you would, go ahead, click the link. It's, you know, if you're on YouTube, it's probably in the description. If you're watching this on Facebook, you know, just click somewhere, maybe the learn more button, I don't know. Well, go click that and join, okay? Join this training, I'm super excited. I'm actually running it in just a few days. So join, come live, watch me, and that's how you're gonna get the most value out of it. And I want you to walk away and take massive action on it, okay? And it's gonna help you a lot. So join and uh, let's crush this year together.